Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is string the left and right pad notes. I've gone ahead and fired up a quick little example here. Let's go ahead and cover the notes and see what we use them for. So if I fire off my example project, we can see a few spaces. This is a long string of text and a few more spaces. That's going to be our primary example string. So the left and right padding is basically intended to make sure your string is a certain length. That's it. It's going to pad it on the left or right side with blank spaces to make sure you meet your minimum character count. So let's plug our long string into our left pad and put this into our output and our default is zero for our character count. We'll hit play. And you'll notice no difference. We are hitting our minimum of at least zero characters, so nothing's gonna happen. Well, let's say left pad, you wanna have 10 spaces on the left, you type in 10, you're actually gonna notice, well, it's not going to do anything. The character count is not how many spaces there are. The character count is how long your string will be in characters before it starts, pad well, total. Not before it starts padding, but total. So let's say you wanted your string to be 46 characters long. If I can type in 46. And we hit play this time. You're now going to see we actually have more spaces on the left hand side. So our long string is a little bit difficult to see this with. So let's do our short string. And our short string is simply the word long. Let's make our character count 4 and hit play. And you'll notice it's normal. We have four characters here. Let's say we make it 10 and we hit play. Now you're going to notice we have six spaces on the left and four characters on the right. Since this isn't a uniform space font, that's why you'll notice it's not exactly the same for all 10 characters. Spaces in this font take up less space. Now the right pad, let's go ahead and hook this up and do 10 as well. We'll plug in our return value here and hit play. And you notice now it says long, and we'll have six spaces on the right. So that's it. That's what our left and right pad is for. You may be wondering, well, what would I use this for? Well, it's useful when you want to have things maybe in a table that are all going to be the same width. Let's say, for example, it's a table of values for the cost of weapons. And you want it right along the right edge, and you want it to be the same width no matter what. So something that's a dollar fifty and something that's forty nine seventy five, you still want them taking up the same amount of space in your user interface. While well, using your padding, maybe set it to seven characters or whatever your maximum amount will be nine 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 dot nine nine for example. Use your padding to always ensure that it's left or right oriented in terms of your alignment, and they're always going to be the same width, so your column looks uniform. That's it. That's your left and right pad nodes. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below.